Okay, now we're going to have a look at some of the functionality of the uh, pop-out segue editor. So here we have the log running here, and um, we've got I've got my system configured here to have the segue editor running in the bottom where the cart players normally are. Uh, that's because I've got the cart players on the left-hand screen, but in most cases you probably would have cart players along the bottom here and the segue editor here. In which case you'd have a button up here that said uh, pop-up segue editor, but in this configuration if I click on the seg edit button it gives me the pop-up segue editor which is the thing that we're here to look at today. The segue editor here is just like the old one really, it's just um, got a few more features in. Um, first thing is you can make it a lot bigger so you can zoom in and, and do stuff and you can zoom along as well so you can kind of see more of the waveform. The next thing you'll notice is that we actually have um, some bars here and here. These allow us to do the fade in and fade out of the current items that we are segue editing, which is something we couldn't do on version 3. So I could have that set like this, sorry about that, so that um, the fade out is going to happen at the end of the rogue traders. Now that's perfectly normal, we could do that, but what we can also do is we can just fade that one in like that, so we can kind of um, edit the way that the segue is going to happen between those two items. Okay, now you can't hear this actually fading in and fading out because I can't include the music on the video here, but you'll have to take my word for it that that did just fade out and uh, the uh, Lee Ryan did actually fade in. So that's fine, that's how you could do that. Um, but let's say we want to do something different. Let's say we wanted to uh, add a new sweeper. So I've closed down the segue editor now and um, move on to the next item. Um, I'm going to reopen it here and then what I'm going to do is click on the carts button to bring in the cart browser. Now. On a dual screen system obviously I could zip across onto the left hand side and do that but um, I've only got a single screen for this demonstration so I'll just pick up this sweeper here and just drop it straight onto the segue editor and the system will drop that in as a sweeper. I can of course then uh, fiddle around with the uh, extras and the intros and stuff as you would expect. Um, here you can see we've got the same in bar as we did have a minute ago so we can sort of do a fade in on the thing but we can also uh, have a um, have it so that it will actually start there and that means that we can actually cut the beginning off of voice links and sweepers if we wish to as well um, gives us ultimate control over how the segue is going to sound